So I can confirm today that next week I will seek the authority of the Scottish Parliament to agree with the UK Government the details of a Section 30 order, the procedure that will enable the Scottish Parliament to legislate for an independence referendum. The UK Government was clear in 2014 that an independence referendum should, in their words, be made in Scotland by the people of Scotland. That is a principle that should be respected today. The detailed arrangements for a referendum, including its timing, must be for the Scottish Parliament to decide. However, in my view, it is important that Scotland is able to exercise the right to choose our own future at a time when the options are clearer than they are now, but before it is too late to decide our own path. Let me be clear what I mean by that. The timing of the Brexit negotiations are not, of course, within the control of the Scottish Government. However, we must plan on the basis of what we do know now. And what we know is that on the timetable set out by the Prime Minister, the shape of the Brexit deal will become clear in the autumn of next year, ahead of ratification votes by other EU countries. That is therefore the earliest point at which a referendum would be appropriate. However, it is just as important that we do not leave it too late to choose a different path in a timely way. If the UK leaves the EU without Scotland indicating beforehand, or at least within a short time after it, that we want a different relationship with Europe, we could face a lengthy period outside not just the EU but also the single market, and that would make the task of negotiating a different future much more difficult. These considerations lead me to the conclusion that if Scotland is to have a real choice, when the terms of Brexit are known but before it is too late to choose our own course, then that choice must be offered between the autumn of next year, 2018, and the spring of 2019. The third important aspect of planning ahead is this. I have already said that by the time a choice comes to be made, there must be greater clarity about Brexit and its implications for us. It is just as important that there is clarity about the implications of independence, and there will be. We will be frank about the challenges we face and clear about the opportunities independence will give us to secure a relationship with Europe, build a stronger and more sustainable economy and create a fairer society. Scotland's choice must be informed and up to date. There is a great deal of talk by all of us about mandates from the referendums in 2014 and 2016, and of course neither of these results can or should be dismissed. But the fact is they tell us only so much about the circumstances we find ourselves in now. In 2014, we didn't know that the UK would vote to leave the EU. Had we done so, it is likely that some, perhaps on both sides, would have come to a different decision. And in 2016, independence was not on the ballot paper. We cannot simply assume that because someone voted to remain in the EU that they would vote yes for an independent Scotland. What Scotland deserves, in the light of the material change of circumstances brought about by the Brexit vote, is the chance to decide our future in a fair, free and democratic way and at a time when we are equipped with the facts that we need.